case you didn't see my last video on my Psycho Soprano channel, Eric Stocklin is with me here in Sweden. Angela's coming to Hawaii, and Steve Little was supposed to be here, but in the last minute, wasn't able to go. So, just little old Stocklin. How's it feel to be in the vlogs? Oh, sorry, what? I was just got killed by that biker. <laughs> And we're back with the Leprechaun! Hello! Back with Lee the Leprechaun, I'm so excited to be here. So we have a show here in Stockholm tomorrow. Woohoo! to America with Captain Columbus, the Santa Maria, the Pinta, the Nina, and the Pelusianaca. That's when Columbus raped and murdered the Native Americans and claimed the land his own. And that's why we're here to celebrate it, guys. <laughs> this is what Eric wanted to see, the great cabin. Wait, what is this? It's where our captain was. Senior officer. Where, captain was, where the captain was stabbing. Stabbing? What does that mean? The captain was stabbing? Does that mean sex? I don't know what that means. What does that mean? It means the captain was fucking loads of girls, huh? <laughs> <laughs> An expensive hat or a simple cap? Why is that hat so big? I don't know. They are short people with huge heads. <laughs> yeah, that's what I heard. A good friend pops another friend's back pimples. Belong to Vice Admiral Eric Johnson. Oh, this was Erica's? Girl, you're rich! <laughs> Eric with a K. Oh. Eric, your ring! You lost it. They threw the whole entire ship. The whole entire ship, Eric. There was one piece of gold that was found. And it was your great grandfather, Eric Johnson. Johnson. <laughs> We had a great day in Sweden, and now Lee is taking us to a pub. We're all dying. Corey and Eric and me are all like really, really tired. They're more tired because you're okay? Oh, zombies, yeah, just straight up zombies right here. I slept for six hours on the plane, so I'm okay. If I laid down, I'd fall asleep immediately, but I'm okay. Eric, how long did you sleep? Zero. Zero, Corey? Um, I, I don't, I, I was like off and on, so I don't even know. Yeah, so, but I told them to beat jet lag, you can't take a nap, so we're trying to stay awake till like 10, um, but we're all really sleepy, so we're gonna go to a pub and get some janky food and then get some sleep. I couldn't stay in Sweden without eating meatballs, so we got meatballs. Stockland got some schnitzel and we're gonna eat some Swedish food and pass out. We're all like dying, we're all falling asleep. Corey, did you like it? The best I've ever had inside my mouth. The best ever? Yeah. In your whole life? It's so good. Better than the food in Ireland that we had? No. Oh. Ireland is our number one. Yeah. But Stockholm. This is great. I love it. Hey guys, I know this vlog was a bit jumpy. I didn't show me traveling to Sweden. It was a little weird. Um, and that is because I found out some really, really, really sad news right before I got on the plane to come to Sweden. So, um, as you guys know, I raise money and do a lot of work for childhood cancer. And I met this amazing, amazing girl. She was a friend of mine. 
uh, she came to some of my shows and I got to meet her in person and we exchanged phone numbers and we would text all the time and I'd send her gifts while she was in the hospital and um, she's been fighting cancer for a while and actually she called into um, my live stream last year we FaceTimed and she told her story and she helped raise so much money um, last year for my birthday um, we lost Natalie to cancer <laughs> Natalie's in my phone since I met her as Natalie my angel and now she really is an angel for me and for so many other people and um, if, if anything, this just makes me want to fight harder to help other kids with cancer and help cure this horrible, horrible illness that people have been battling for so long and especially for children, like she did not deserve that. I'm gonna try to figure out what I can do to kind of honor her and what she meant to me and what she meant to so many of you guys she was a hero and she's a fighter i'm so heartbroken and i cannot imagine i cannot even imagine what the people in her life are going through right now i'm so angry at cancer i'm so angry um childhood cancer fundraiser is happening again this year i was already planning on it but now it makes me want to make it even bigger and even better and i don't know i debated even talking about it in a vlog but i felt like i owed it to her to say something um and it felt wrong to just like go about my day and vlog as though everything's happy and good when it's not so i felt like i needed to say something love you please spread happiness and love life is so short and so precious and please be a voice for people who need it more than you and um we gotta we gotta stop this cancel thing y'all we're gonna do it together because <laughs> it took my angel and i'm coming for vengeance uh, we will stop it together so i love you guys and i'll see you tomorrow bye